<clears throat> what's good, what's good, what's good, salute. Good Thursdays and all that. Throwback Thursday, all the good stuff in the titles that you throw out there, man. What up, man? It's your boy, man. Popping out. On the grind as usual. You know what I mean? I want to sit down and vibe with the people a little bit, man. I see your, I see your popping in. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Salute, 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 salute. Good, you know what I mean, good looking, good looking, man. For popping out for your boy, man. I got a few things that I want to talk about today, man. You know, a few things your boy want to highlight y'all about, man. So you're coming in, salute, salute, salute. I always see somebody punch that like bucket for me, mess with up, man. Let a few more people get up in here so we can chop it up and vibe, man. This is just a Thursday spell. J Real, salute, you already know what it is. I was sitting here, I did this shit like three, four times, actually like four or five times. Because you got to go into advanced setting now, man, and put your video on horizontal. So if you're having that same problem and trying to figure it out, go inside the advanced settings and change it from vertical to horizontal. Because I'm almost sure I'm not the only person that just went through that. It was a headache. I'm like, what, why, why are you even doing that? So I had to start the video over a few times, man. But what's good out there, man? How at your boy, man? I don't know why my shit keep frozen. Keep freezing, man. But after he, after he did that, in comes T Pain. If y'all can get some clear footage of that, you're gonna see me press T Pain. Get off the stage. What you doing, bro? And when we got back to 4040, watching the Lakers game. You know, make Kobe by rest in peace, but. You know, you know Hove, he teamed LeBron. He teamed LeBron. And um, my man Dolfo was Kobe. He said, yeah, Black Mama, nigga. And Hove was like, man, fuck Black Mama, playing. Yeah, pussy, fuck Black Mama, playing. Him and my man, my man, it's his, it's his dog from like way back when. But the point I'm making with this is, true story. I'm sure Tata, OG Wan, they're going to say, say, yo, nah, CK not lying, bro. Yeah. No security around us, bro. Hold on his friend with his feet up. Watching the Lakers game. You know what I'm saying? And um, he came over where we had sit down next to me, vibe, said a few words to me. Yeah, man, you know, boom, 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 And spent... You know what I mean? And he, he, he basically made all of us feel comfortable. He act funny style around us, bro. He doing the same thing with his, that's his money. But he putting his money where his mouth at. He's getting us bail reductions. He's getting some people let go free. Remember the program they got going right now? You get locked up. And you can't afford bail. These people was getting you out. Yeah. So from this point on, I'm going to humbly and respectfully ask you, yo, put some respect on whole name, man. Come on, bro. Not for the fact that Brooklyn always had the nicest MCs, because, yeah, I'm going in that direction. Nigga, we nice than you niggas, man. But for the fact that this dude can be selfish with all his wealth and keep it for him and his family, him his personal team, his crew, the same dudes from day one, he still have around him, and they're all millionaires.
Did anybody ever they'll say I got a homie face? Fuck you mean over bows or what? Cause we from Brooklyn, bro. And certain things you just can't do. And the main thing is talk about the king like that. Nigga, Hova the king, homie. Whether you like it or not, that's the king. He was the king lyrically in the rap. He still pop out and make a, make, make a song that would have been a nice song into an excellent, a great song. You see what he did on God, uh, 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 on God Dead? You see what he did? He had a full-fledged conversation with us. A full-fledged conversation with us. How, how, how you going to keep playing with this man? Now, he don't got to be tough, bro. No way he got to be tough because he got niggas like me that still believe, bro. It's because of Jay-Z. Let me give you the real CK now. It's because of Jay-Z, Mano, and Jim Jones. That's why they in my head. Because, yeah, Jimmy too. Know what I mean? I ain't bitter no more because I felt like dudes should have, you know, snatched me instead of some of the dudes, some of the bulls that they snatched. Because if I'd have been with Jim Jones, niggas would have never tried to pop on him in no rucker game without bleeding. Just being 100. You don't believe me? Ask Jew Santana. Jew Santana took Santana Levels nightclub on the mic, and the dude came with an empty motherfucking wine glass or liquor glass, whatever it was. He had a glass in his hand. Ask Jews what I did to him. Catapulted that nigga that way. Yeah. I smacked the glass down. Boom. Off the stage. What are you doing, bro? And my man that owned the club, Russ Corley, was like, they called me Spoon. And he was like, you know, Spoon, boom, 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 we got it from here. And he escorted the bozo out. But I still put hands on him first. Bro, you crazy? The dudes call me out. They call me out for a reason, homie. Because I'm about that Miller. I'm, I'm, I'm about that Miller for real. It is what it is. Even at this age right here, we go into traffic somewhere, you are never alone, bro. I don't let people do things to certain people, man. And Mano, Jim Jones, and some of those people that I'm not going to lie, I'm running around for. I'm going to tell you why now. Run, I kind of error it. And I said, you know, Jimmy a cool dude, but he didn't really deal with me. I never really approached Jimmy on nothing. Besides, yo, Jim, what up? Yo, tell Jews I said my love. I always say that to him. He admit that now. He can't always say that. So I was out of pocket for saying he don't fuck with me. Mano is different. Me and Mano have a relationship. Man, man, don't get time together. I know man from the street. I know Jermaine, homie. Yeah, I know Jermaine, homie. Now, let me give you something real about man, though. One day, we in Mar 8. I forgot what started the conversation, but we vibing, chopping at the snap, boom, boom, boom. We start playing cards for Knuckles. Me and Khalif Coombs from Fort Green. Kyle, one of them dudes, he a knuckle master, bro. You don't want to, you don't want to owe him no knuckle. That nigga that hit, hit you with them cards that have your knuckle looking like Brutus fits. You know what I mean? So we play like pop, pop. I catch him, pop, pop. But I'm not really catching the way he pop. Khalif tearing me up. Man, man, no vibe. We chopping up. We talking. So we both got Sergio, we both got Sergio Decini sweatsuits, right? Me and man, the same, the same sweatsuit. Somehow or another, I guess because you know you be washing clothes, I got I go to court tomorrow. But I know I'm about to, I'm about to get a six a six building bed. But I'm only gonna take the six building time. I'm not gonna get sentenced. Boom, so I tap him. Yo, bro, I came for my fucking to the city jacket. Yo, let me hold your jacket. Boom, man don't let me hold the jacket. I go to court. One of these bozos thinking I'm going home. Yo, you know that nigga that left with your jacket, right? I came back from court, this nigga, man, it was tight. Tight. Came, got in my face. Yo, man, yo, you trying to play me? I said, yo, bro, I just went and 
and took some time, bro. I ain't, I ain't seen this yet. I get sent this next week, then I go to six, but I told you I needed to hold a jacket because, it, nigga, it's, it's cold on the bus. You know what I mean? Because at that time, we, summertime, I had just broke. We, we ain't have no coach yet. I came in when it was warm, but they come in with, uh, what you call it, in the wintertime, right? Anyway, make a long story short, though. Mano knew I was a shooter, straight, a straight hitter. Straight hitter, straight shooter. Dudes ain't play with me, right? No, this nigga got in my face, bro. Like he won the fight. He flinched at me. And I'm like, go ahead. And then he looked at me, smiled, and then he just hugged me, bro. And to this day, if Mano see me, I'm in a club anywhere. He see me, look at me, and give me that same hug. Yo, what up? You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna need you to put some respect on that nigga name. Cause you have my hand, these country boys keep asking me, yo, bro. So, so yo, nigga said man don't be capping. Nah, bro, man don't ain't capping, bro. That's who the fuck his personality is. That's his personality. Yeah, well, I heard you heard wrong, bro. You heard wrong. Nah, it's nothing soft about that, man. Nothing soft about that, man. You know what I mean? Now, let me tell you why I'm breaking this down about Jimmo. Um, I said Jimmo. About Jim and motherfucking Mano, right? Hov was one day. I'm getting tired of wrestling with you niggas and get ready to put hands on you niggas behind the king. That's the king, nigga. Put some respect on that shit. All day. I mean that shit. I'm not playing. None of that. Stop disrespecting that, man. Man, helping us, bro. This is the only person I hear right now on the battlefield trying to help us right now. You know what I mean? The only person trying to help us on the battlefield right now. You know what I'm saying? Put some respect on it, man. It's time for y'all to use common sense and proper knowledge to understand your bro. People get rich to leave the hood, bro. Why would Mano be on Notion Avenue? Why would Jim Jones be on Linux? They do it sometimes. They be out there, you pull up. There be a bunch of them. You know what I'm saying? Davies, Jim, Vado. It be a bunch of them. So you see them out there. They come through their hoods and the PJs. They come through, they show love. But the reason for me saying what I'm saying and before any of you call me, oh, CK backpedal. No, I'm not backpedaling. So don't start that immature ideology that you use all the time. I'm backpedaling. It's just that as a man, when you realize, if I've been going through my, my little videos and stuff like that or whatever, getting ready to respond to some nonsense, I realize, yeah, why am I responding to liars? Let them niggas lie and keep doing what they're doing. I'm getting back to CK. I'm getting back to giving you a real game and real spill. You know what I'm saying? Just being 100. But at the end of the day, I error in saying Jimmy don't fuck with me. I never put myself in a position to be turned down for nothing. Y'all already know I don't ask for nothing. Right now, with the climate and everything going on, inflation and, you know, we going through recession coupled with inflation. So... Yeah, I'm, I feel it. I'm hurting too. I don't got Jim Jones money. I don't got Mano bread. I don't got Hove bread. I get to a bag, but my bag is tiny compared to their bag, bro. My little Mr. CK, yo, you wear the same jewelry them rappers wear. Oh, no, 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 buddy. I ain't got the big joint like Buster Rhymes. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't afford all that shit Jim and be wearing. But I thank him for the motivation. Let me tell you something about Mano before I get back into Jim Jones. Me and Mano been arguing for years, bro. So I got on here, said, yeah, Mano want me to dick rhyme. This is why, bro. At that moment, I'm like, yo, I would never came at him like that. Fuck him come at me like that. But now I understand, you know why? I'm standing in Mano's shoes right now. Sometimes you overlook certain things and tell you're standing in the person's shoe. I stand in Jim Jones' and Mano's shoes right now. 
I got a bunch of little weirdo broke corny dudes trying to ostracize a nigga, man. Niggas is running around slandering me. Now, I bet you asked Bano Yo, yo what, CK? I said, nah, hell no, nigga wasn't playing with no boys in jail. Because niggas know. The niggas know. The ones that count know. But sitting down the other day or whatever, and I remember his face. Do my nigga Mandela phone. He was upset. Like, yo, my nigga, like, niggas supposed to spoke up. Uh -uh -uh. I get it now. You know why? Because now I feel like niggas are supposed to be speaking up right now. Because you got this little YouTube wheel running around. Coming with fake paperwork. And now we'll open the door for an even weirder suspect. Oh, CK, C CK and informant. Oh, this and that, it's now. CK, let me explain something to y'all, bro. There's no such thing as a informant without an indictment. I challenge anybody out there that no law, um, that's been to the feds before. I tell them, all those dudes that testify, bro, has to be a part of that case, bro. You know what I mean? Everybody that, Frank Matthews, salute. Everybody that's a witness, an informant, however you want to fucking describe these fucking rodents, has to be a part of a case. They have to be in that. Hey, salute, beloved, I see you. They have to be indicted, bro. You can't be a part of a case being an innocent bystander or a witness just like that. It's different if you're in the state and it's a murder charge, so on and so forth. All if it's a thing where somebody did a, 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 a major shooting and you have witnesses and civilians sitting there. Lady Fresh, salute. And it's a witness in the cool. Yeah, you can, you can be a witness on that level. But they're not allowing nobody to walk in the Federal Bureau of Investigation and say, hey, Mike Mom, what's good? I want to do this right here. I want to be a part of this. No, homie. What role did you play? What did you do? You understand what I'm saying? What role did you play and what did you do? And the reason why they do that is because I do, I say that, to get out of trouble, for them to let him go, and then disappear, and and won't testify. So what they do is they charge you with something to hold you to your word. And this is called a five K one agreement. Ask anybody that you trust, your big homie, your uncle, brother, a homeboy that. This came home or something. They're going to say, nah, CK telling the truth. You know what I mean? It is what it is. So when dudes is screaming, <clears throat> main no name out, and yo, I heard he rat is that, bro. Niggas would have been pushed paperwork on that, man. Real paperwork, bro. All right? Just like Jim Jones, you know, niggas play with it, you know. China came clean, said what he said, but you still got dudes out here. Cause you gotta understand, in other states, people get news late. So when they get the news late, they still ask people like us, cause we from up top, if this shit is true or false. And before, man, you white man, I don't care about. That Jim Jones said, "Not move around," but now I'm actually taking the time to explain. But I have to thank Mano for that. If he didn't get mad at me and wig out, and then these corny niggas start attacking me with the fake shit and all that, I would have never understood where Mano was coming from. You know what I'm saying? I understand now. My mindset was, man, I'm not getting in the middle of you and boxing ball shit. You know what I mean? Because that's up to speed that I knew. I only knew about the boxing ball thing and all that. 
You know what I'm saying? So I didn't want to get involved in that. Like, I know Bard too. I have a tighter relationship with Mano though. So now, in the hindsight, he had a valid point. You know what I mean? Hey, facts, bro. That's a hundred percent. So now when I think about what he was saying to me on the phone, I said, damn, you know what? He hundred percent right. I'm a cool with boxing ball. But me and Mano had an in-depth relationship, man. You know, through, through the course of many years. You know what I mean? Anybody else, Mano would have stole on and got the popping on him. He just got in my face, flinch. I said, go ahead, nigga. He looked at me and smiled and hugged me. That's a different perspective with somebody who really deem you as their friend or just a dude that's a ram that they tolerate him. See those words right there? A person who deem you as their friend and a person who's just tolerating you. Had he just been tolerating me, we'd have been fighting. He tried to go in my mouth, I tried to return and we'd probably been fighting. But because he really had love for me, he flinched at me. I said, go ahead, nigga, like, you know what I mean? Because I wasn't going to hit him either. You know what I mean? Let's not get that twisted. Yes, yeah, in case he was going to pop on me, nah. I'm just showing you the difference of opinion. His opinion was, I should have spoke up and said something more. My opinion was, I know both of y'all. I'm not getting involved with that. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, in Fayetteville, bro. But now that I'm going through it, these niggas is lying, playing, and they're never going to come outside. They'll call him out to a fight. That man called him out to 30 fight. That man not going to fight me. You know what I mean? So when you look at it like that, I'm like, damn, you know what? The nigga Mano was right like a motherfucker, bro. Sometimes, even though you don't want to address certain things and maybe you don't want to, you know, pick a side, there's still nothing wrong with telling the truth. There's still nothing wrong with telling the truth. You know? I kind of got in my, my emotions when all that shit was going on. And they said, yeah, Ken Force said, because Ken Force said, nigga, that I was really fucking with when we was locked up. And I seen him as an ally, but also a brother. Even though I never got to the, went to the internet, disrespect him, so like that, because he ain't a corn, but I'm not like these dudes. You can say a million and one things about me, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie on no man, bro. If y'all pay attention, you never see me fire back with people with fake paperwork or with lies. That's not what I do. You know why? Because then that make me uncivilized and have me all outside my body. But for the dude sitting there watching this three ring circus, I feel how Mano felt about me. Niggas supposed to be speaking up in volumes. You know why? Because most of my beefs was never my beefs. Niggas wasn't coming at CK when all that shit was going on. And before that shit was going on. I didn't have that problem. Man, don't tell you nothing. Niggas respected. Niggas knew who CK was. They knew he was getting money, but they also knew he was busting his gun. And I had quite a few fights with some notables. They're not alive, so I'm not going to drag their name. I had a couple notables that I bested and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, legendary notables. We had a fight, and then I bested them. It is what it is. Five minutes later, we was back playing cards and... Eating high drop cookies and making motherfucking turkey and cheese sandwiches in the day room. Everybody had to shoot the fair one. So, I guess it's fair to say my bad to Mano and Jim Jones. Something else I want to clarify with Jim Jones. 
I never ponied up with anybody about no paperwork with Jim Jones. But I was saying, yo, he'll fuck me. Fuck, I care. I did say that. So a lot of dudes got that to us. Yo, yeah, you were sitting there and, you know, um, nah, bro. I've never disrespected Jim Jones. I've never went at him sideways. And when all that shit was going on, me, I ran into Jimmy. We, me, murder. Me and Don murder. We boom, seen him, whatever. Yeah, what up, boom, 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 boom. And kept on going. See, real niggas know when a nigga throwing a dag at them and this and that. Yeah, I felt the way. I ain't gonna lie. But I'm Corey King and I put in mad work. Mad work. You know what I'm saying? Mad work. When SI was alive, when SI was going to clubs with them. SI would be on the phone with me. Yo, I can't hear you. She came and call you. He'd go to the bathroom. Uh, even when he coming out, he come outside. Yeah, I'm on my way home, bro. Yeah, Jimmy and him show me love. So I could never have a problem with Jim Jones, man. He showed bro love. Sunshine. Sunshine was wrong when he said me and Shaquel didn't fuck with SI. I can't speak on Shaquel's behalf. I don't know what SI and Shaquel had. I'll be out of line to speak on that. That's not my ordeal. But CK and SI never had a problem. So if you thinking he called that shot, sometime, SI never called no shot at me, bro. I remember when he came across with the polo rims and all that and the wavy hair before he caught the ball spot and all that. He came to HDM and we was together. He started saying the fuck shit that I saw way back when. When we was in 1A, then they moved us to 1B. The Lou Curtis and all them down there. <clears throat> so, Sunshine, ever than that. And now to take a shot at Sunshine. Shout out to Sunshine. Sunshine was getting busy. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to diss the homie either. I ain't got a problem with that. But if you looking, you need to understand you ever than that, bro. I never had no confrontation and when he came home off the motherfucking bus from Virginia he stopped in D.C. with K-9 called me with K-9 on the phone we vibed and that he came they had him on Atlantic Avenue at the halfway house we got Magic Soul Food on the corner of Atlantic and Rockaway do your homework niggas know about this I'm pretty sure Jimmy Mane all they all know about it me, the bro, La G, they're going to say his whole name. La G and Prom, Dawn Murder, Stace, we all in the restaurant and given time. When Prime in New York, he comes to the restaurant. Most of the time, I'm there. On Friday, we had the line all the way around the block where we had a little party. We had a little stage out there. So we'd have a little party, stuff like that, or whatever, DJ on the stage, doing their thing. And I had to send the food to my cousin Fred. And SI, they both came from the feds in the halfway house. And I just send them niggas food, smothered chicken, so like that, from the restaurant to the halfway house. It's niggas that's out here that's probably with there, never getting the food. Like, that's a fact. Them dudes was getting food from somewhere. But we had a delivery dude pull up on a bike, call their name, they come to the door, get the food. Sometimes I'll pull up myself. At the time, I had um, the little range coupe, the little Evoke. Little two door joint, Emporio Sand to be exact. And um, I pull up and my cousin Fred to come out. SI I come to the door, we'll chop it up, we'll vibe. And then they go back inside and I go about my business. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> Jimmy and them show SI love, man. They show SI a lot of love. So I could never be one of these Jim Jones hate niggas out here. I just. That wasn't saying nothing. And I probably should have. I probably should have said something. You know what I'm saying? I probably should have said something. Shit, when niggas, well, the niggas was muting me on Clubhouse, the Billy stepped up for me. But sometimes you blinded by certain things 
the me, me, I syndrome. So I felt like Jimmy didn't fuck with me, so I didn't stand up for him. And I was wrong for that. Because whether me and Jim like it or not, we tied to each other, bro. You know what I'm saying? We tied to each other. I have ties to that man. I just had a bunch of dudes around me out here and rallied and rallied and, and rallied North Carolina and explained to them, don't believe nothing about Mano or Jim Jones on the internet, bro. Don't believe nothing about Jay-Z being a sucker on the internet. That man's a billionaire. Where the fuck would he be in Brooklyn in the hood somewhere? He do it every now and then. He pop out and come through. But why would he be in the hood and the man's a billionaire? You understand what I'm saying? It's time for us to start thinking and speaking logically, man. You know? I ain't ask you to like him if you don't like him. Hey, that's your prerogative. But stop throwing rocks at the throne, man. You know? It's okay. Ask me about Mano. Ask me about Jim. Don't ask me who you want him. I'm going to tell you the truth, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you the truth, though. And that's why my pair, being 10,000 with it and telling you, I erred by not speaking up for Mano, by not speaking up for Jim Jones, bro. In the yams. I'm in the yams. Me and Prime and them with Jimmy and them. But like I told you, I get to a little bag. I ain't got they bag. So I'm not really running down. Yo, Jimmy. Yo, yeah, but I see him. Yo, what up? He, he salute. He pound me. So like I said, I was out of pocket for that, bro. You know what I'm saying? This being, this being 10,000, but I was out of pocket for that. You know what I mean? I'm on live. I get off live. I'm coming out at you. Okay, All right, salute. All right. You know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, you know, everybody should do what I'm doing right now, man. If you know you errored, if you know you just had a spite because you was mad at somebody, man, you know, take that shit back and be 100 with yourself first and then be 100 with that next man, man. I see you in here, Venezuela. What up? You know what I mean? It's time we start being accountable for truth, for fact. Stop being accountable for bullshit, man. Yo, yo, I played that nigga. <laughs> Cause we ain't doing nothing but tearing each other down right now doing that, man. This ain't no cop out of this and that. You know what I mean? To use you suspects. Cause I don't want to curse on my lives. I'm a middle finger to y'all though. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. But note this right here, right? No man can truly misrepresent a man he don't know. He can only throw mud and try to slander. And that's why I'm speaking up because I got to dealing with a dude out here. Right? I'm sitting there and everything, yeah, Jay-Z a hoe and this and that, Jay-Z this and that, this and that. Man, fuck man on him too. I said, yo, my nigga, you don't like New York niggas, my nigga? Well, nah, nah, come on, big homie, you from New York. Yeah, but my nigga, I don't like what you're saying right now, bro. You said a few other names, asking questions about them. And is, is homie really real this that? But I'm sitting here, like I'm sitting here right now in my truck, and I'm listening to this shit. He started calling a man over there to Jim Jones, soft, and he's scared. And if, he, if he'd have been here in rally when he came, he would have ran down. I just said, you know what, enough of this shit. I hopped out. Yo, my nigga, what you talking about, my nigga? Nah, nah, bro. Come on, let's just talk about this, my nigga. Don't do that no more, man. Hey, look at me. Yo, CK, yo, man, yo. He cool, man. He not cool, bro. He not cool. Just in the bros like that, bro. He not cool doing that. And for the dude, Little Joe, my bad, bro. Cause yeah, me and Little Joe had a nasty little fallout over hove, man. And the shit got physical, man. Ain't nothing wrong with CK. Let's not get it twisted. Hey, knuckle game is for real. All right. But shout out to you, Little Joe. You know, you know what's up, nigga. 
You know what I mean? The real can only respect real, but it's how you take things out of context when it comes to certain people, man. You know? And if you watch this shit, man, on my bad, homie. I, I, I didn't get it. You know what I mean? You already know how I am. I don't let people bark on me. He was barking on me the phone, nigga, though. He's barking on me, nigga, the phone. You know what I mean? But I get it now. Sometimes you have to sit in the man's feet. I said, I said, shoes, sit in the man, stand in his shoes for a day, and then you'll understand the true meaning of his frustration. Why he's frustrated. And the homies was fr and the homie was frustrated. I get it now, though, because now these niggas keep on playing with a nigga face card. And I'm on I'm on I'm on Xbox playing. And the kid, yo, for Eastern York, yeah, this nigga, uh, uh, 18. I'm like, how old are you? Oh, I'm blah. My nigga, you ain't 18, my nigga. I know black knowledge of everybody. You, you ain't 18, my nigga. I start asking my pig and everybody. He don't know who pig is. He don't know who Taheem is. He definitely don't know Drizzy. He don't know Drac. You don't know. Oh, I heard it talk. You heard it talk. How are you 18, bro? You know the first thing came out of his mouth? Because niggas be on uh, Xbox playing my music. Fucking with me. Yo, I like this song right here, bro. Uh-huh. Yo, yo, so him wanting to really know who I am. Yo, know what I mean? Yeah, you already know, salute. But my name, but but instead of him knowing who I am, who I really am, he went by Devon Post. Oh, yeah, 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 you tried to play me, but I, I heard you rap from Brooklyn. And the whole party said, what the fuck out, the fuck out of here? They defended me. A lot of them dudes on, on Xbox don't really know me. You know what I'm saying? But they know enough about me to know that I'm not that man born in 63. Tell the papers right here. The bullets got his shit. Papers right here. They say you was born in 63. Niggas like, that man, nigga, wax ain't that fucking old, man. They, they call me wax, but get it, Gucci spoon, wax spoons. Xbox give you game attacks and the wax spoon came up. But they defended me because dudes know I am not born in 63. Even that number. This is the New York number. We hit that number. That same case come up from Connecticut. Nothing about me and no other nigga in Brooklyn. That's come up for that same case. You understand what I'm saying? But I went as far as Cause I balked him out and said we were talking for a few days. Then he came in and I went as far as pulling Crown Course TV posts to show where he broke it down. He also broke down when it say not in BOP custody, meaning he's not in BOP custody. And it said release the unknown. Crown Course TV said it means just that. He hasn't been charged with a crime or even he beat his case. And not charged with another crime to the point where they don't have they don't have a release date on him. He went back to wherever he came from. You understand what I'm saying? Certain things you can't you can't hide when people get sentenced. They have what they call disclosure. Where when you get your paperwork, your disclosures, the snap, everything is itemized in detail. You can't bury or cover that. You know what I'm saying? Once somebody get their time, they gonna get their paperwork. You can't hide that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying that for everybody online who do ever call the fag and they got frustrated, but you a fag, yo. Y'all gotta start running with that, man. Stop letting these dudes give these give give these dudes a platform to disrespect dudes who actually stood up. Anytime you have an individual or individuals that have fallouts with everybody, 
Yeah, bullets got him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fallouts with everybody, even the people he get cool with, eventually he fall out. There wouldn't be no Mika and CK. I should I say Pink Sugar and Mika situation if it's not for Bullets Gotti feeding that woman false information. But when she had the problem, you know what she did? She hit me up and we vibe. She'll tell you, we vibe. And Pink Sugar told, listen, he didn't do that. I did that. Because you're using his likeness in, 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 in the wrong matter. If anybody knows something about me, I don't bang people pages, bro. I don't got time for that, man. What 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 what, what I'm going to get for doing that? It ain't going to get me a million dollars. It can stop you from eating, though. I don't want to see that. Anybody that's been around me, they're going to say, nah, CK want to see everybody eat. JB official, right or wrong. I have problems. Like I said earlier in this live, shit, I'm struggling right now. Shit, 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 the hard outside, man. You know what I mean? It's hard outside right now. It just is what it is. <laughs> Pink said, yes, it was me. Brandon is everything. And she's still on that Brandon shit. Sometimes I want to get on here and wild out and troll. And I hit it, yo. Pop out. What you gonna get ready to troll? She's like, nah, man, get back to you, man. You let these dudes pull you out of who you are and what you do. And then all my homers, yo, bro, you gotta get. You got to get off the internet arguing with these dudes, bro. Forget these dudes. But they don't know. Sometimes, even though I know all that shit fake, sometimes I should get under your skin, bro. When you somewhere doing something and somebody seen your video, yo, the dude made another video about you, bro. And I'm like, yo, what's my motherfucker go somewhere and just fall back? Even though there's really no such thing as bad press. All press, all press get all press get you exposure. You know what I mean? All press get you exposure. So you're definitely keeping me in the algorithm. But at the end of the day, you need to go find y'all some toys and shit to play with, man. Go get your remote control car set, man. Get you a hobby. We want a railroad set. Want me to send y'all some railroad sets? You have a house for a space to, so you can be in the middle and watch the train go around. If you need me to do that, I'll do that for y'all. All right, little kitties? And that's what y'all need. Because this is a three wing circus. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing that we can't get on YouTube. And come with real content, bro. Every time the black man touched something, man, we deteriorated until it's nothing. It wasn't like that back in the day. Back in the day, this is the reason why the power that be kept a lot of us around because we was genius. We were geniuses, bro. Hey, call Henry over here. I bet you Henry will figure it out. Because we will always go with our hands. But we were also always a kind people, man. We wasn't hostile people and stuff like that, bro. We weren't hostile like that. But over the course of time, different things started trending in different direction. And then... It gave birth to the year of World Star. World Star, remember that? You heard somebody scream that, people start looking around. 
Cause you wanna know who get ready to get his, who, who get ready to get knocked out, who get ready to get snuffed. You understand? We can't never have, we can never, you know, exceed in anything. You no. Know? And that's the bad thing about this whole this whole game, man. It's happening in the rap game now. You already know, salute, beloved. It's happening right now in the rap game, bro. These little youngins can't even make their millions and enjoy it without somebody trying to knock them off, man. A dude would literally knock you off your pedestal because you was clever enough to come with a clever hook, a couple of catchy phrases on a catchy beat. And then you was talking in between. Oh, oh, you know what I mean? We had a coach since last night. Yeah. At one point, Gigi was running the game outside of Hove. Dude was arguing with that. I stepped in. I stepped in. Yo, bro. That's a fact. That's a fact. I was one of those dudes all day. All we do is smoke and fuck. Smoke and all we do is smoke and fuck. And you don't owe a nigga nothing. 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 You know what I mean? That's what it'll do. I love, I love, I love me some young Jeezy, bro. Home was talk. Home, he was talking that pot talk. Have a nigga in the kitchen like, yeah, bro. You know what I mean? With that thug motivation on, moving. You know what I'm saying? We got into that. You know what comes up? Man, 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 man Gucci man played that nigga. <clears throat> Why we always gotta come in confrontation, man? By the way, Gucci! Shout out to Gucci, man, man. Shout out to Jeezy. But my thing is, why we always gotta go to the negative because you can't win a debate of facts? Think about it. You can't win a debate of facts. So now you go to who was tough and who. Now you're talking about stuff that's above your pay. It's above my pay. I don't know what happened out there in the A. And it ain't none of my business either. I'm talking about the music. Just like at one point, Bootsy and Webby had the game for a minute. I was down there for all that. All that she will, all that came out with Drake and Lil Wayne, all them. I'm in Houston, turned up. I walked in the strip club. They look, yo, my nigga, New York spoon in the building. You know what time it is? Gucci spoon. Ah, ah, ah. Immediately, a single girl come over there. Soon, I give her them bad for them singles, and me and my nigga start getting crazy. You know what happens? Chicky, 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 shot my nigga spoon. I get plenty of money. I get plenty of money. Now I'm in my, I'm in my prime. I'm, I'm a red form. Now I'm on the couch. Cause they didn't put plies on. I get, I mean, come on, I'm going crazy. I get plenty of money. Now I'm going crazy throwing the money up. My homies throwing the money up. Immediately after that, you know what they play? Dipset. Then, 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 in the sand down there, man. Niggas in Houston respect me, my nigga. I gave them a reason to respect me. I ran around, rolled up, just like I do out here and in New York and anywhere else. I gave niggas a reason to respect me. I had altercations. I've been in a few brushes, so to speak. And when dudes see me perform the way I perform, they were like, yo, you know what? Nah, yo, bring him in, man. I like that dude. That nigga's all right, man. And this is how I became who I became in Houston. This is how I earned my respect in Houston. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Never surrender. I ain't faking no moves. 
after the two incidents I had, I had no more problems, bro. I'm talking about the high roller days when Harlem Knight and Chris and them and Malaya and, 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 and Chris and Malaysia and them had Harlem Knights bubbling. Yeah. From Harlem Knights. Once Harlem Knights slowed up and, and, and kind of got shut down for a minute, we all went to the south side to either Dreams of Houston or the High Rollers. Now the spot to be the same nigga who with the DJ, DJ Eric and Hall of Knights, he own Area 29 now and he on the radio. But DJ Eric could tell you, yo, nah, Spoon's, Spoon's responsible for building me. Now, totally responsible. I'm going to say I want to do the support of him and Tammy the Tiger. I would come out there and I would fuck with them. Heavy. Heavy. You know what I'm saying? To the point where it's times that Eric took me to Aker's home to where his dad lived at. Dad had mad shit out there. This is the first time I realized everybody used to own horses and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah. Took me to Aker's home to where his dad is at and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you gotta start dealing with things more thoroughly and knowing who exactly you doing, you doing the grain of salt at, man. You don't get salty with everybody. Some people just deserve their privacy and their respect. Yeah, I came to school, y'all dudes. I'm back. I'm, I'm, I'm back on my 212 shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm back on my 212 shit. So I'm good for what nobody say. I'm doing this because this is what I'm good at. I'm good at being 10,000 with y'all and giving y'all facts over fiction. You understand what I'm saying? Like I got some interviews gonna come up. And it's gonna mess up that but damn. CK change, yeah, I change, I'm changing the channel, bro. But I first have to get back to this. I gotta get back to this right here. I'm vibing with the people according to what y'all want the most. Y'all just want real, man. Y'all don't want that nonsense bumble mumble jumble shit. That shit dying out already, man. That shit dying out. Niggas don't know they want to challenge me or get that motherfucking zip with the motherfucking drip. They done ran the Hassan Campbell shit into a fucking hole. Hassan this, Hassan that. Oh, Hassan this shit. Oh, that fucking been bother. Nigga, how many times y'all gonna say that shit, man? You know? How many times y'all gonna say that shit? Let's just be real. It's redundant, homie. The slandering on the line, that shit got to stop, bro. Years ago, I kept saying, yo, my nigga, yo, instead of motherfuckers going, well, at home, listen, guess what? You might be right. The problem is, I don't care. Go on IG, hit his shit, and tell him he's a mook. I don't care. I don't care. That nigga do what he do, homie. That's another thing. We got to start dealing with individual personalities, man. I wasn't born with none of these niggas, bro. Everything I was born with got the last name King. I wasn't born with so I don't care what nobody else do. I am not responsible for what the next nigga do. The next nigga is not responsible for what I do. Don't you get it? This is what I'm talking to you about right now. I don't care what a never nigga do with his money, with his women, all his dudes. We don't give a fuck. But the point I'm making is I say crazy shit out of my mouth to show you, nigga, I'm that real to do it. I was playing, I grabbed Roski by his hand, boom the little nigga. You know why? I can do that. You know why? Because my team, my family know who I am, bro. They hit my phone. Yo, you a wild boy, ZK. Yo, you know why? Sometimes you have to give niggas what they want in order for them to realize you'll fall the fuck back. And they did that. And they did that. But apparently, somebody poured them a drink. Yo, CK, I smarted y'all. Get back online. Could you hear? It's a, it's a force moving these little bowling pins, right? 
It's a force move in these little bowling pins. And every time they come, guess what happens? They get knocked down. You know what I mean? You can't win the war with a broom against a steamroller. I'm a steamroller, homie. And I'm undefeated in this shit. And everything ain't for everybody. And every conversation ain't a good one. You understand what I'm saying? So dude can say what they want. You're not going to change my drip. You're not going to change my report, my relationship with the streets. Look where I'm at. I'm outside. Love. Let me show you. I said love. And I'm making money. See the food truck? And I'm making money. So why y'all keep on hating and talking? Make it just outside getting to it, man. And I suggest you do the same. But look, I got food truck. That's, that's lower level, man, compared to Jim Jones. And then niggas got fucking sports team, all the rest of that shit, man. Even though I didn't they intentionally hate on them, I allowed my back. My, 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 you know, my bag of emotions over the fact that I felt like dude should have gave me, you know, a bigger salute being that, you know, not only did I bring something to the forefront, forefront, and yeah, I got cut for it, yeah, by a dude who didn't know what I was saying was real, and I get it, he wanted to be a soldier, and he got touched in the same, in the, in the same moment, there wasn't no give and no take. You gave, you took. The niggas that still call yo, but Benji, that nigga wrote a thousand letters to me, apologized, all the rest of that shit. Then he dropped his flag. And my sympathies go out to him. You know why? That boy was devastated after that. He found out CK was telling the truth. That nigga was devastated, man. He was devastated. And niggas started hopping on his ass. I just hear my nah, bro. Let that man be, bro. Let him be, bro. He ain't know he was a young motherfucker. And belief is everything, y'all. Belief is everything. When you believe in something, when you believe in something, it turns you into a crash dummy. I've been the same crash dummy before. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know niggas that die. Anybody, nigga, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't never even considered no shit like that, my nigga. These niggas don't pay that shit no mind. Nobody ever admits none of that. See, these niggas, just, that's what they do, bro. This is their life right here. You know what I mean? It's their life right here. You know what I mean? It is what it is, man. Every nigga that ever seen me in track would see me with bitches, nigga. I don't do all that. You know what I mean? I don't do the, I don't, I don't, I don't do those ones right there, you heard? But it's all good. If it floats your boat, salute. But I'm getting back to me now. You know what I mean? I'm getting back to me. And you're going to see my face every day, every morning. I hope it makes you throw up. But to all y'all that fuck with me, y'all going to get this work, though. Y'all going to get that real spill, that early morning spill again. About growth and development. About getting to a bag. Because growth and development don't only mean positivity. If you gotta have you get your bag, that's how you get your bag. I don't care. I don't know. I don't I don't I don't wanna know how you get your bag. But I can say something to motivate you to get up and go get a bag, whether you mopping the floor or busting down tables. You still get into a bag though, man. Don't be no bum out there, y'all. Messing with these idiots. That's my message today, man. All hearsay must die. You got niggas that talking about receipt. Ain't dropped one receipt on CK yet. Think about it, y'all. Show me receipt. Show me one receipt. Besides an eight, a, a, a angry little troll, a little midget. That get online every chance he could. And call my name. That's why I put the video. So you when they was vibing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lean back. Soon as that man said my name, he leaned up. Yeah, CK, right? Yeah, yo, CK, right? Come on, bro. I ain't never hate on nobody or nothing in my life, bro. I became a little salty. 
That's why I erred and not speak enough for Mano or Jim Jones. Because I felt like, damn, my nigga, like, you know, I extended the hand to you, but your nigga didn't ever extend the hand, extend the hand to me. Because when Jim Jones and them came to Hall of Nights, after they came out of um, House of Blues in Houston, that was me that told Chris and them, yo, get Jim Jones and they down here, bro. I, I spoon, I spoon. You know what I mean? And they and they call yo. They get through, tell them, you know, we got a bag from over here at Hall of Nights. You know what I'm saying? I always extended my hand to them dudes, man. Always. Levels night levels nightclub. Jew Santana birthday party. Get that footage. Look who Jew, who, who, who Jew Santana hugging. Look who you hugging. That's me. In Houston, Texas. Levels nightclub. Jew Santana birthday party. This shit about 10 years ago. You know what I'm saying? And, you know... It is what it is. I always salute and shout, you know, Jules Santana out because him, um, his brother twin, Black of Dawn, they always called my phone when they pulled up. Just like R. Kelly. You ever see me dissing R. Kelly? Niggas stay arguing with me about R. Kelly. I would never disrespect that man. You know why? When R. Kelly pulled up to Houston, I got niggas that at my call and I had to call the charge. I call them right now. They going to tell you. Not only did R. Kelly finish his show, him and Manny Haley. Manny, my personal friend, my childhood friend from my neighborhood. Him, Manny Haley, Keisha Cole, doing that, that whole little tour. And they came to Houston. Made Frankie rest in peace. I had to I had to basically play security and bodyguard Frankie. Because, yeah, I was a soldier, homie. I ain't going to sit here and make it seem like... You know, I, I, I'm on boss status. They can know I was a big homie, but they put Manny Haley put money in my pocket. Wendy Williams and husband Kevin Hunter put money in my pocket to hold them down. They know I had a team of big goons that was running with me. You know what I'm saying? And they came in through less nest with the Wendy Williams situation, and me and Manny Haley are personal friends from childhood. So he reads that, your call, you, you still in Texas? Yeah. All right, yo, we coming down. Boom, 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 boom. Our flight get in, and I pulled up on them. You know what I'm saying? Toyota Center. I had passes, backstage passes at Will Call. I got them. Y'all know Don Murray. You know the Stoney? That's Don Murray. One, one night, it was a couple nights. One night, I didn't want to go because I know I had to go. But the next day, I was tired. I said, yo, Murray, here y'all go. He went to Will Call and got the passes and all that. And him and my people that had pulled up down there um, to come holler at me, they went to the R. The R Kelly, Keisha Cole situation. You know what I mean? Anything I say is fact, homie. I don't do all that capping. I don't do all that mudslinging. If I tell you something, if I said it, I did it, you heard? It is what it is. Oh, yeah. Hey, yo, bro, don't yo, you get it? Yeah, I said that. Fucking with them. I just, you know what I'm saying? You got to pay attention. I said, sometime you got to play the same game these dudes is playing just to fuck with them. You see, when I said it, it took a minute. And I repeated it. I, told him, I said, yo, see, I did that, so they fell back. And he might have told me, yo, nigga, that nigga CK played, y'all. He said that shit and ain't nobody responding. Then they said, you know, he comes back. If I, have I not say that? Have I not say that? They probably would have fell back, bro. You know what I mean? But I say, yo, my nigga, see what happened? Ah, ah, ah. And I, I keep forgetting that YouTube niggas play both sides against the middle. You know what I mean? So nigga, probably, yo, boy, 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 you gotta hit back a bit. CK, yo, 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 CK one. This is a game to these niggas, bro. But I'm really a person. I'm really a human being out in these streets, bro. My flesh crack, bust open the break, just like your shit do. I didn't say I want to sleep with him. I said I'll fuck him. <laughs> but yeah, let's move along, man. I don't want to talk about that nigga. You know what I mean? But I'm just trying to show y'all, like, I said it to be reckless because niggas was being reckless. You know what I mean?
Hey, no, change the subject, bro. I mean, anyway, but anybody that know me know me. Y'all know me, bro. Y'all know CK get crazy. I say shit because I can. I'm just that real and just that tough that I can say what the fuck I want out my mouth. As long as I'm not aiming and getting nobody locked to do no crazy shit, it's all love, man. My family ain't saying nothing about nobody. That nigga, that nigga, hey, fuck with Corey. Corey crazy. That was my name growing up, Little Crazy Corey. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I, we know that, bro. We, 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 you don't know because you don't know me. And I don't care. I don't care whether or not you know me or not. You know what I mean? At this point, I'm not here. I'm not here to buy friends. I'm not here worried about what you think. You know what I mean? I'm just giving you the God. You ask a question, I'm giving you the truth. Nigga, I said it because I can say it. That's why I said it. I said it because I can say it. Who the fuck is... Oh, Nino Cap... Why are you bringing Nino Cappuccino up, man? Nino Cappuccino, that nigga done got his bag. He got a whole a whole other situation going on, man. It ain't over me and me, Nino, Nino Cappuccino. There's nothing that, uh, whatsoever with me and that man. What's wrong with y'all? You ask questions about people. You Do you see Nino Cappuccino online? Fucking with anybody, man. Leave that man alone. That man is chilling, getting his bag. He's getting the bag. They contracted that nigga out. He good. Nino good. But see, he did his little ah, 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 and he fell back and went into grind mode and got him a, a, and, and got him a, a lucrative deal. He good. You know what I mean? There's nothing going on with nobody in CK. CK don't have a problem with nobody. And once y'all get that, Bro, stop talking about scheme on him, man. I'm about to get you clipped at my party, man. Like, once y'all understand CK don't have a problem, nobody never explain about CK. You always forgive people because that's who I am, bro. That's who I am. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to keep on beefing with you. You feel me? And if I'm, and if I'm going to kill you, I'm not going to beef at all. I'm just going to kill you. You know what I mean? Yeah, that part. So, nah, I don't have a problem with nobody, man. All right? Does that answer your question? AC Cole is a bitch. Does that answer your question? I don't have a problem with nobody. Period. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to pop up, pop up at the mouth. Oh, you said this. Oh, you said that. Well, what about this right here? How about you get you a piece of life, man? You need to find you some business. And everybody that think my man. Hey yo, bro, Nino never said that to me, bro. And at this point, my nigga, you about to get muted, man. Enough. Mute this nigga, man. Mute him enough of that, man. You know what I mean? Forget all that. We ain't keep arguing with no fucking weird nigga, man. Chill out with that shit, man. Everything moot, 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 moot. Y'all niggas is the moot pause. In my era, man, we said we went out our mouth, bro. Wasn't no pause. Like, you homophobic? I'm not homophobic because I know who I am, bro. I don't give a fuck. What another nigga do with his ass? That's his ass. That's that. All right? Come on. Stop, man. Anyway, you know, but that's being totally, totally, totally 10 grand with y'all, man. You know, y'all got to cut this shit out, man. You know what I mean? Because it's the hottest thing on the internet. You got a nigga trying to build a whole career for my name, bro, right? Now, that, that, does that answer your question now? Enough. Stop. Stop, bro. You know what I mean? Ain't no so what. It, 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 it's, not, it's not entertainment, even though I get what you're saying, but it's not entertainment. To them, it's entertainment. To me, it's rhetoric, and it's embarrassing, bro. It's embarrassing. You know what I mean? You don't... You don't see the what you call the brothers online cursing for free and all that. One fought Floyd. The other one fought um what's the um the UFC, the UFC dude name? They out there fighting, getting the bag. But they but they're YouTube sensations, man. And you don't see that. Even 1090 Jake. If 1090 Jake is not associated with us, y'all wouldn't have said nothing to him. Y'all start trying to dress and 
drag 1090 Jake because you're seeing him associated with me and other people. You know what I mean? Just being 100, man. Enough is enough with the fucking rhetoric and the slander, man. People built their platform, man. People created whole, you know, rap careers and music careers. And then here y'all come to dog them out, man. Don't you know when people get deals, they try to either renew a deal or snatch a new deal, whether it be a sneaker deal or any type of promotional deal. The people go to social media to look at how people see you and what they say about you, man. The thing that you say in your mouth. And our people just the worst, man. Like, y'all just want to see a motherfucker fall. Y'all don't care if a motherfucker live or die, man. You know? You don't care if a motherfucker feed his kids or not, man. You know why? Because you ain't even doing it purposely. You don't think like that. You don't think, damn, another one of us made it. Look at Gilly and them. I wouldn't, Gilly DM, yo, Gilly, what up? Boom, 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 boom. He ain't never respond back. Do you see me online dissing them and trying to, you know, get famous off him? Nah. Maybe he don't remember me. But I know Gilly from back when he was coming to Houston, way back when. Keep in mind, in the old, old fours, the old fives, old sixes, I'm in Houston living. I came home in 2003. I've been in Houston living. So I remember Gilly and them moving around and doing certain shit. You know what I mean? Like Wallow. Wallow used to be in my heart. He used to be in Flappers and Crown Hikes. He used to be around us, boosting and all that. Maybe he just ain't paying attention to see me online. Maybe he just don't give a fuck. That nigga don't owe me nothing. But you don't see me trolling him and talk about nothing disrespectful towards Wallow, man. You got to live and let live, man. Let these people have. They moment, man. Yeah. I'm on a I'm on a lower level and you're going crazy. So imagine the million trolls that mess with these people. That get at them. And this is the reason why a lot of people do uploads. They do uploads because they don't want to deal with this nonsense. Her son Camel called my phone and said, CK, yo, why you deal with that? Say, yo. Start doing uploads, bro. Push you to get more money doing it. You know what I told him? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Sometimes I be bored and I welcome that shit. Today is not one of those days, though. Today I want to vibe with the people and give them what they've been missing. They've been missing an intellectual conversation, man. Based on real time events, real movement, real people. And that's why I picked Jimmy. And Mano today. That these is real people. I've been in clubs in the street with Jim Jones. I've been in the street with Mano back in the days. I've been in prison with Mano back in the days. A lot of niggas may not like him. But boy was in the gym shooting though. That nobody can take from him. They can scream, yell, say a whole bunch of shit about him. But one thing you can't take about him. That nigga was in the trenches. Let's talk about Papoose. Yeah, Remy and Papoose was that. Pat, Bobby Harburger. Papoose is a fucking gangster. Papoose is an addict with us, bro. Papoose is putting on. Ask Shaquel that. He knows Shaquel's father, Shaquel. You no? Know? Moose was directly around me and priming him. Moose is Pat Poo's people. They argue and fight like brothers do. But you say something crazy about Pat, Moose gonna try to take your head off. But he throws shots at Pat all day. Pat be telling him, man, fuck you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, but they brothers though. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, it's time y'all start knowing real people, places and things, man. Dudes are trying to sell you the Brooklyn Bridge and some of you dumbass niggas actually bought it three or four times. 
three or four times. Something that cannot be sold was sold to you dudes, man. How am I going to sell you the book, but you're going to pick it up and move it? Because you don't own a piece of Manhattan landmass. You don't own the other side of Brooklyn landmass. So what are we doing here? What are, you, what, what are you buying? Popcorn? You know what I'm saying? What are you buying here? Popcorn? Speaking of popcorn, you remember popcorn? I didn't know that man from a hole in Adam. First he started out being a, a, a CK supporter. Then, for whatever reason, I don't know what reason, the man started cursing me out. Look at Ice Coleon. I mean, Ice Coleon talk every other day. I'm on ID, pull up my ID. Ice Coleon trolled the shit out of me. Think about it. He was the first one really going hard with the moose because Devon said that. And he said, what? Yeah, yeah nigga, CK. Ah, but Devon never said it right. Until Bullets Gotti came with the paper. I just want you to see the facts. Why he didn't say that way back when when he was saying the moose shit? Because he the one who started that conversation. Why he didn't say it way back? Why? Because ain't none of this shit never happened. You know what I mean? Answer what, bro? I can't even see what you're talking about. Answer what? But this whole moose shit came out of Devon mouth. Anybody else say that shit until Devon said it? Of course, bullets got him going to say it because the niggas dick ride. They dick ride me. That's what it is. But up until he come with this mysterious conversation that he come with, because it's fake. It's a motherfucker. Nobody is saying none of that. First, it was CK or CK be bragging too much. This is what everybody was saying. This is what Wildcats say. Yeah, CK ain't give me nothing. He be bragging too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know he's trolling, bro. I'm, just let, I'm letting him troll. I'm feeding into him because he actually refreshing my memory of some of the things I want to touch on. But at the end of the day, that was cool. Even if you're CK, yeah, he be exaggerating. You know, I be saying he, that you never heard China say mook about me. You never heard China say I was pussy. None of that. We got the video there online. Those are the receipts right there. Why he never said that? When the nigga said it, he said, no, no, no. What we're going to say is he be stretching the truth a little bit. He cut him off because he can't say that. That's why I put on that ever live. You paid attention with China. It's in her, in her inbox. Tell her, yo, listen, sis. CK can never be my motherfucking enemy. You know what I'm saying? Because we have history there. Could I came to population at the box? Yeah, niggas was trying to get at me. And I start shutting shit down. Start, boom. Or him, boop. I start putting work in. And to the point where niggas trying to come out to the field house and jump me with a seven-man team with knobs. And China jumped off the wall. Him, Brave Dave, and the niggas held me down. So while we wasn't the best of friends, that made it where... I wouldn't attack him now, now, because he just went to war. He could have let me get hit. Bob, a top shooter just came to the jail. You in there, mischief my little bro. And then just suddenly I've been waiting to see mischief to explain to listen, bro, I ain't make friends with nobody, but at the same time, I'm not going to shoot the nigga now because when niggas was coming at me, trying to jump me, the niggas, I ain't asked him, I, I ain't asked him. We didn't even have a conference up until that's the incident that happened in the field house, because that's how niggas came at CK, came at me. Five, six dudes to try to, try to make sure they can tag me to get me out of jail because they were scared of me. Yeah, Brave Dave was around. I probably been doing a Brave Dave interview, but because we, he was doing his little thing and he grinding his job and so that, and I had things going on and then patch in. But Brave Dave is coming to the channel. He going to tell y'all, niggas came at me with a seven-man crew. I put my back, back my knife, put, put, my, put my back to the wall. Nobody can't come behind me. And why is it going down? Brave Day came running from this way. China came running from this way. Old man Ali Shan came running from this way. And that's what you know. Niggas swallowed these niggas. After the situation, because I took my coat off and switched up, put the, um, the, um, the army coat on. I had to stay green. Because I know I was coming to get busy. 
to the state green coat, boom, my man had my army coat, put the army coat on, boom, the hat, and spent the round. The police didn't grab me. He started grabbing people, and I said, the whoop, got, I got away, I got, I got away, away with the hit. And the next day, they had a football game out in the yard. I've seen, I pulled them, I said, listen, bro, we're going to re keep, we're going to respect them along the line of discipline. Me and none of my people are going to come at you. You can control your people and we Gucci. You ain't got to worry about me sneaking you, doing nothing to you. I asked it back, bro. And I told him, I gave him a hug. Thank you, bro. And that was that. Me and China hanging the jet every day, this and that. You know what I mean? But I had to respect a nigga who could have let me just get murdered in the jail. Yeah, I was going to be hitting niggas too, but somebody could have got lucky. It hit me in my heart, my eye. I ain't come out there with no books. I came out there with just a state green jacket on my other man. Had his army coat or my army coat on top of it. So this cloud, I already knew it was, I knew it was getting busy. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why when he kept trying to say, oh, he pussy. He was like, nah, bro. Let's just say he been the truth a little bit. And I can live with that. If you, your opinion is, I been the truth a little bit. I can live with that. But it's something that we all do. Sometimes I might see it a particular way or a different, at, at an obtuse angle. And you saw it at a triangle. But nobody is necessarily intentionally telling a story in any particular way. You just know it according. When you in action, you in action. Like, you don't, you can't say this. Oh, boy, hold up. Five, five minutes, 2.45 a.m. Um, me and so-and-so, we begin night fighting. Boom. All right, come on, let's get it in. Hold up, stop. Yo, at 2.46 he stabbed me in the arm and I stabbed him in the hand. Hey, come on, bro. Who does that? Who? Time out. Hold up. Man, right, sit down. I don't got time, dates of incidents, nigga. I just know shit that took place. That's it. It just happened. It went down. Now I'm trying to get away from them fucking COs. Because now the main op is coming. The police is coming. You know what I'm saying? Yo, well, he told that story differently. Nigga, I told the call that how I remember, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's that. How many times you got into a fight and in the process of your fight, you do, you do the uppercut and then you hit him with the motherfucking the cross or the straight and your man said, nah, I'm gonna you hit him with the straight, then you hit him with never say, then you hit him with the uppercut. All you know is you fighting, you whooping this nigga ass and trying to get your ass whipped. You feel me? And that's that, bro. I ain't never came on here sugarcoating nothing for nobody. I ain't never came on here and lied for no, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line. But I will say this, and any nigga that been up north gonna tell you this, bro, this is how simple this is. This how, look how simple this is. I'm gonna say some real simple shit. Hey, hey, JB official, what, yo? A nigga, a nigga Mark, your man, yeah. Yo, I just seen Mark on the gallery fucking with a boy. JB, tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. Once that happens, we may not approach you at all, but we're going to watch your ass until we do catch you. And any nigga that's Damu, that's Blood, or that's Crip, or that's Latin King, or Nieta, is going to say this is my nigga. Well, not the yet. The yet is homos. Point, 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 pause. You know what I mean? But, but at the end of the day, any nigga who does that will successfully get another nigga shit took off in the penitentiary if niggas have morals and principles. If you was from Brooklyn and we see you messing with a homo, it's a 99.9% .9 chance you was getting shot. I don't mean pow, I mean whoop, or even uh. Cause that, that, that's the bylaws of Brooklyn, homie. Any of y'all homies get caught doing some shit down me, we popping that nigga top off. Nigga, you, you a mook. You know what I'm saying? And it's just that simple as a fucking conversation. Hey, you said it's your man from town. I'm like, yeah, well, your man over there fucking with dudes. What? What you talking about? A war? All right. He ain't gonna say that to him right there on the spot. Well, some people might, most won't. They will come out to the yard. The niggas get they corner that we all hang on. You got a Brooklyn corner, 
You got the Harlem corner. You got the Queens corner, which is right next to us. Because, you know, Brooklyn Queens always stuck together. The Queens corner. You got the Bronx niggas, who used to be in the same area where, where, where the Manhattan niggas is at. You got the motherfucking LEX niggas and all that shit. They used to be around, like, cause you, cause you got old gangs like the Dirty One, the Savage Nomad. A lot of them niggas, like Johnny Local, and them, them niggas are still up north. Them niggas got some niggas got 40 years. Why them biking niggas are drinking that boots, get drunk, and kill some shit? Niggas are fish like that. You know what I mean? Dirty Ones. You know, I know old man Johnny and, and his son taking all of them. I know all the niggas, right? But my point I'm making is this right here. Once that nigga hit the yard, the family already know he got a questionable situation going on. But we still not going to say nothing to him yet. You know why? Because now we're going to have homie point the chump out that he fucking with. Now, which, which, which chump he was with? That nigga right there. And we're going to spin around and say, listen, hey, what you doing? Relax. Yo, I don't want to have to blow your top off. Was you fucking with this nigga? And 90% of the time, the homo going to tell on him. Just that simple. It's the rules of engagement up north. No matter if you blood, crip, or what. If a nigga is preaching that anti-gay shit up north against another dude saying that he's gay, and he's against that, that nigga gonna get pressed by his team, by his family, whoever his family is. You got Dominican Power, Dominican Stone. You got the main, you got the little, um, you got the, the Panamanian family, which really be around us, the Flappers, nigga, most of us from Flappers. The Jamaicans, Panamanian, we all, I mean, even me, I was roster fire right up north. We were going to roster festivals and all that shit. You know what I mean? Because when you roster fire ride, you ain't getting no pork served to you, none of that. You know what I mean? We had the roster festivals. We always go on the VI floor and vibe out with our peoples and eat good food and dance. You know what I mean? Boom. I'm in a jail with Shower. Scully and Shower. Number one and number two most notorious hitter there is amongst the yardmen, amongst the Jamaicans. Shower would have blew my top off, bro. Because they ain't going to say, yo, you're a hole list. I'm coming to get you. No, he was going to blow your top off. And Elmira, if I was playing that type of motherfucking game, like I gotta say, it's only a matter of a conversation. All you gotta do is say, hey, listen, man, yo. So now, if a nigga felt they seen some shit, what was stopping you? You knew blood niggas. You knew Rick Martin, them. You know, you know, you know Brooklyn niggas had to be around. I'd be around Rick Martin and Lil Paz and them. Why you wishing that to none of the OG, the legendary homies that's been, that's been jailed 30 and 35 years? Why you ain't tell them that and I'm eating with these niggas? I'm on the pull-up bar and pause from that the ball, pause let me on his basketball team. Why you don't say nothing to these niggas? Jose Harrison, them, K.O. Smitty. Why you don't say nothing to none of these guys? Especially K.O. Smitty, the legend. The legend. Why? This is the question I want to ask. Why? Because in jail, if your man is fucking around and we see it, we're going to tell you your man is fucking with a job. You can't get around that. You can't get around that. But you niggas allow these dudes to pull wool over your eyes so many times, continuously, in the same motherfucking year, man. Fool you once. Fool you twice, fool you three times, four times, five, 54, 56. Your niggas is dummies, man. And y'all got dudes online that was up north telling y'all this couldn't have happened. It's impossible. Some may get away with it. He must have been a hit and go type of nigga. Because just like females, women, them pussy niggas getting they bag in their motion too. I ain't never seen where a nigga was fucking with a motherfucker homo and a homo ain't getting his feelings and blow that nigga up. So I'm gonna tell everybody you fucking me. And we ain't like, what? Like, this nigga? It's a never known nigga from out of Brooklyn who I'm not gonna call. 
that got caught in the cell in Attica. Yeah, legendary nigga. And when Rick Martin said, that, I said I we know who CK talking about, got caught in the cell in Attica. I'm in, I'm in Attica. Bush is in Attica. Old man Nate, Billy Wop, um, Al G, motherfucking Remo from Fort Green, um, um, fucking um, light with all the gold teeth from all the pink houses. Yo, we all are in this joint. Dizzy, Dexter, we all in the jail, bro. That shit travel like wild, motherfucking, like wildfire. <laughs> Yo, so what's up? This guy called what? You out of here? And he was a fucking legend, but he got caught and he got served immediately. They answered, "Yo, my nigga, you got caught." They hit him, and then told him why he got hit. Yeah, four or five knife wounds later. Four or five knife wounds later, he ended up in somebody more fucking infirmary and went to a whole nother fucking jail. Only to get hit again. You know what I mean? Just being 100, man. Just being 100 with it. You know what I mean? So stop letting dudes pull wool over your eyes with bullshit. If a nigga was really dope, a nigga would have hit my line and pulled up on me already. My nigga China did it. Ask China. Ask, ask, ask China Brim. Me and China Brim was shooting hot venom at each other in the beginning. We never went to the internet. We was all good behind saying, what nigga, fuck you, boom, 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 boom. And then my people from Crown Heights told me who he was at the bottom. His dad, everybody told him who I was. And me and Babe Bro speak. After we speak, me and Babe Bro pull up on each other. And all everything is love is love. No, why? Because he pulled up, so now I know he not no bitch. But anything, I ain't trying to dress bad vibe. Bad vibe pulled up on me. We all, we fought. He pulled up like a man. That's why me and bad vibe ain't beefing. This nigga's really mad at bad vibe because he don't know me and bad vibe pulled up on each other and, 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 had, a, and had a moment of truth. So, yeah, that's why I'm not trying to trash bad vibe and, and, and play with his name because the man did what I asked him to do. He said, man, pull up on me. He pulled up. And we had our moment. At that moment, hey, listen, man. Beef done. We ain't arguing no more. We Gucci. But that's what men do, though, bro. Men pull up on each other and have a firm understanding or they don't. Then this becomes the understanding after that. Simply what it is, man. I ain't got to shoot you, cut you, stab you, nigga. My shit's work. And I ain't got no glass jaw, nigga. I can take a punch. All couple, all few. But just know, while you trying to get those couple of few off, I'm getting my shit off, homie. I'm tagging you. When I tag you, I'm going to tag you and make you feel every ounce of the frustration that I felt when you was playing with my face card. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So with that said, man, Cut the shenanigans, yo. Everybody. I don't give a fuck if it's 050. That's my team. 050. I don't care if it's Zip or whoever it is, my nigga. Because Zip is my man, too. I ain't never say he wasn't my man. Ten Toes is my nigga. I know Ten Toes, too. Be me, my man. I don't like half the shit that's going on online. I just ain't say nothing because I'm in that mind frame of I don't really want to, like, you know what I mean? Bridge a gap. I'm in that mind frame. You know what I mean? So I wasn't saying nothing, but now I'm saying something, man. This shit is bullshit, bro. All this shit is nonsense, and niggas is doing bad, bro. Everybody is participating in this shit. You're doing bad, bro. Yeah, man. This shit gonna be every bit of what you want it to be. If you want it to be a rose bed, it's gonna be a rose bed. If you want it to be a fucking thorn bush, it's gonna be a thorn bush. You heard? It's a simple request. It's a simple request because you get what you ask for. Simply put. So with that said, y'all, I expounded. I got my build off. And if I don't see y'all later on, I'm going to try to get home in time to get on the gate. 
You know what I mean? And, you know, troll out with King Troll and everybody and fuck with them. You know what I mean? You know, hopefully motherfucking Hassan. Not Hassan can, but ever Hassan pull up. He a funny little dude. I fuck with him. You know what I mean? Top shots and all of them. And we gonna get online, man, and get on the gate. I'm gonna get ahead and put my cell block back together. You know what I mean? Yeah, y'all ain't no salute, y'all. You know what I mean? But it is what it is, bro. And it wasn't to offend or curse bullets. Guy, yeah, divine. Nobody. I'm done with that, man. Y'all can have that. If you think you won by plan, okay, you won. Salute. You won. You know what I mean? But what's a win without fact? See, a victory is fact. Niggas go on basketball court and they win. That's a fact. He won. That's the champions. The Denver Nuggets are champions. You get it? Kansas City Chiefs, those are champions. That's a fact. They won them. They won those games. But the games you have niggas playing, we all losing, man. It's crazy, man. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. That's why ain't a whole bunch of love and hip hop shit on TV no more. That's it. Because them people got tired. Yeah, we gonna watch out the yo, 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 he spent on that nigga. But them people that represent them networks, they had enough, man, because it's getting it's, it's, it's getting crazy now. And there's no different with YouTube, man. So with that said, man, salute. All my people stand up. You know what I mean? For anybody who I may have offended, it wasn't intended. You know what I mean? But fact is fact. Truth is undisputed. You know what I mean? And um, with that said, salute. You know my slogan, man. Groceries here more than dope. Peace.